Hello, Reject Nation. I'm Greg Elba. We're going to watch the trailer for uh, City of Lies, the movie where I hunt down the killers of Tupac and Biggie. And offer the uh, location man $100,000 to um, punch him in the face, or for him to punch me. I forget. I have a temper now. <laughs> and I don't seem like I'm enjoying my life at all. <laughs> Pitch of the day shout out for John Minnie. John Minnie is a hardcore sports guy, lives in Albany, New York. We need a Google Hangout with this dude. I really have no clue why he watches our channel, but he's an incredibly <laughs> friendly guy. Been married for less than a year. John Minnie, I hope one day you can become that famous sportscaster you hope to become. And despite the fact that you're a Trump supporter, they say to keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. And that way I can, you know, I can t tickle your beard because you got a nice beard. I like yeah. You got the like Billy Goat thing. If there's anything I can say about you, you have made us hardcore Trump supporters, even though we never talked about it. Uh, yeah. I'm no, just kidding, buddy. We <laughs> love you. Trailer for a trailer. Detective on the big small case, right? I'm a journalist. Why is this case so important to you? A murder like that only goes unsolved what? if the police don't want to solve it. <laughs> I've seen the murder book. You have any suspects? 20 plus years and not one arrest. Are you guys hearing Tupac shooters were hired by Biggie's entourage? Biggie didn't have Tupac kill. The facts point to something more here. If we could prove a connection between cop and Biggie's murder, it would not only break the LAPD. It would <laughs> grow. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh man. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you redact LAPD's connection with Death Row Record? I cannot comment on an open investigation. Hey. As long as it's an ongoing investigation. As long as it's an ongoing that investigation. That evidence locked away in the dark. <laughs> Damn. That stick away from bloodstained streets every day. no idea what the LAPD is capable of. We are distancing ourselves from the story. I got what I need. What do I do? Out of the vehicle now! Everybody! Huh. Looks pretty intense, man. That looks intense. Yeah. Looks like a David Ayer movie meets <laughs> meets uh, True Detective meets Zodiac. <laughs> yeah, 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 hundred percent. Yeah, one of those like true crime gritty street. L yeah, exactly what I said. Well, I like that now Johnny Depp has has gone into this later stage in his career where he can kind of play this this one kind of tired guy, but we're gonna find a good place to put you. <laughs> yeah, give you like a supporting actor to play off of. He's got yeah. a lot more energy than you, <laughs> and that's for. Whitaker in this movie. He looks great in this too. I think both of them look great. Yeah. I mean, I heard those stories of Johnny Depp like oh, I'm, like belligerently drunk once again on set and like causing a violent stir. I don't know how to feel about him no more. Uh, yeah, <laughs> neither do I, man. Guys, <laughs> like, one of my fallen heroes right now. In terms of what we're looking in at in this, this movie, movie yeah. in terms of the context of just this trailer, the last time I thought he did a great job was the movie Black Mask, where it was another true story. Yeah. There was another real life character that he played. And I think that when he plays a real life character, he has a lot more respect does a 
better job because of the fact that it's based on a true character. I can, I can see that. For so sure. he does what he can. I'm sure he's got like, you know, videos to go off of to really embody yeah. this character, external things to really draw from. He's not doing like weird Johnny Depp voice stuff, but it still <laughs> feels like a different dude. I, I, was, I was watching this and it's like, yeah, I, I, because of the fame of Johnny Depp, I'm aware of him. At the same time though, I feel like I can just buy this dude as a character. Yeah, and yeah. especially in the pace and the, and the structure of the movie, I'm sure that the you know the breathing room allow that to come to life. Definitely, you, know, the, you can still catch the glimmers of greatness from his performances and stuff. And I think this is a very relevant movie. I mean, this has been going on for years and years and years, but I feel like a lot has been coming to the spotlight in the past couple of years. Oh yeah, uh, especially in regards to like LAPD and everything. Hip hop is the biggest kind of music around, yeah. and these are like two titans. And we're also debating nineties nostalgia. <laughs> well, there's that, but there's also like you know people have been hotly debating like the relevancy of Tupac and like figures like the old head and stuff like that yeah. now and you also have so much distrust for the police and so much police corruption yeah. being exposed like yeah there's a lot that's relevant here it's an interesting story of this one detective because mm. I never caught the killer that's yeah. why I meant by like Zodiac especially because the Forrest Whitaker character kind of reminded me of Jake Gyllenhaal being a journalist in Zodiac so they never caught the killer but it led to uncovering something much bigger a much yeah. bigger corruption going on and the fact that it's spanning so many years you get to kind of watch this guy age and deteriorate over the course of this long ass investigation it sounds intense and it looks yeah. like it's going to be a, a rather gritty crime thriller that'll be probably embedded in its performances it, yeah it looks like a really tense movie yeah, that's the main sort of flavor i get off this is tension and suspense even because it, it, there's a bit of a sinister vibe on this and yeah I, I kind of agree i especially like a cop mystery where it's not necessarily that we're gonna figure out the answer to this one problem but we're gonna find sort of a whole mess of other yeah. problems attached to it and that can be really lifey and really kind of real in in a sense yeah and so i'm excited to see them take it on and i'm excited to see the pair of Johnny Depp and Forrest Whitaker because they're both great actors, you know? I just hope this movie is going to be able to do this in a contained format because I'm sure it's going to want to touch on themes of corruption in LAPD. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's going to touch on racism themes. Mm -hmm. It's going to have to touch on a lot of things, but the end of the day it's, it's like what are we really gonna show up here for i think what the trailer is selling you on is the intensity of the situation the thriller of uncovering a mysterious plot sometimes with a film like this you try to handle too many things at once i feel like at the end of the day if they keep it contained within its characters the film will be just fine it's a great post labor day film all right what do you guys think of this trailer is johnny depp gonna win your heart back and then crush it again yeah <laughs> after the second he does movie. something else <laughs> yeah the second he shows up on the next <laughs> you guys can subscribe to the reject nation click that notification bell because subscribe buttons don't really work and you can check us out on patreon full-length tv show reactions music video coverage weekly q a's would love to have you become a patrona deck today